Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Noble Sports Entertainment, and as always, you know it, we talk sports. And uh, right now, we just want to get into this uh, preview with uh, the Arizona Wildcats versus the BYU Cougars, the Brigham Young Cougars. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about this Khalil Tate situation because he is a dark horse candidate, you guys, uh, to uh, win the Heisman this year. I don't know if he'll win it, but definitely he has some uh, stiff competition to go against the likes of uh, Bryce Love, who rushed over 2,000 yards last season, and uh, freshman running back who's now a sophomore, um, Jonathan Taylor, um, who did pretty well last year, is a dark horse candidate. And uh, Will Greer, quarterback from West Virginia, is a dark horse uh, candidate as well for the uh, Heisman Trophy. But yes, let's go ahead and go into it and let's talk about it. Um, Khalil Tate, um, very interesting um, young man. I've uh, looked at film on Khalil Tate. I've I've saw a lot of film on Khalil Tate, and I can't. I was truly amazed about his skill set and the things that he was able to do out on the field. Um, as you guys know, uh, against the Colorado last year, Colorado Buffalo. Khalil Tate broke the rushing record for quarterbacks in a game, and that's 327 yards rushing. No other quarterback has done that, not Michael Vick, not Lamar Jackson, not any of these running running quarterbacks did what Khalil Tate has done. Uh, definitely Khalil Tate has a, uh, a great arm. He's able to throw the deep ball pretty good, and um, if he gets protection, he definitely can kill you. Um, he got two good receivers. And Point Dexter, no, I'm, I'm gonna say three. I take that back. Three good receivers in Pond Dexter, um, Ellison, Tony Ellison, and Sean Brown. These guys are good receivers, and uh, definitely, man, Khalil Tate has the wheels. He's definitely a very athletic quarterback, and he's gonna put that on full display against the Cougars this weekend. I, I'm, I'm excited, man, just to see that college football has come back. Um, this is not going to be an easy game for uh, Khalil Tate because I know that uh, um, BYU has definitely studied film on him, and they're going to they're, they're definitely going to try to contain Khalil Tate from running all crazy on him. So he has to know that, and he has to game plan that game plan that, and the coach has to game plan that they're going to try to stop him because they know that he's the face of the team, and that his name is going out nationally now. So definitely, I want to see him. Hopefully, I get the opportunity soon to go down to uh, Tucson to be able to um, see Khalil Tate live. Um, but um, I definitely, I'm going to take I'm going to take Arizona in this game, guys. I'm going to take Arizona to beat uh, BYU. Uh, I'm going to say 31 to 24 in this game right here. Also, Coach Rodriguez, Rich Rodriguez, is no longer the coach of the Arizona Wildcats. Uh, the job has been taken over by Kevin Sumlin, um, who was a coach of Texas A&M. He'll be uh, definitely um, heading off with Khalil Tate this season. And I, I want to see definitely what uh, Arizona is able to do this season because I know that their division was not, was not as strong last year. The Pac-12 was not as strong last year, but um, I, I definitely know that teams like Oregon and USC, those guys normally be good um, every year. But um, definitely uh, Khalil Tate is going to have his hands full this weekend in his debut. But I'm taking Arizona to win the game. Um, I just de I definitely think that Khalil Tate is going to put up a monster game um, if he gets loose on um, BYU. So, all right, you guys, this is Noble Sports Entertainment. If you have not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you for your viewership and thank you for your subscription. And as always, peace.